Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to talk about linear regression. So if you don't know the basics of linear regression, you can check my previous video where I've talked about uh, linear regression. And in this video, we are, uh, we are going to perform uh, the linear regression on our MPG dataset. And uh, we are going to uh, find the accuracy rates of testing as well as training datasets that we separate using uh, a function called train test split. So we'll be splitting it accordingly and finally we'll be uh, seeing the real values and predicted values uh, of the data set according to the algorithm that we have applied so well yeah let's begin so these are the different columns that we have took and to view the data set you can just click uh, cars.head so this is the starting five uh, rows of the uh, of your data set and to see the bottom uh, So to see the bottom uh, bottom rows, you can click tail. So it will give us the bottom rows. So as you can see, we have also some null values present. So we need to remove those null values, or we can, uh, you know, add some some new values to it, so that we uh, we can you know we can get some good predictions. And you can uh, you know uh, write something inside these brackets. For example, instead of five rows, if you want ten rows, so you can get ten rows as well. So that is how it works. So, so this is the head, and uh, as I've said, you we need to uh, take the null value. So let me import. And here I'm going to. So I'm going to fill the null values with a uh, mean of the horsepowers. So it's going to take the mean of these horsepowers. So let me this. So as you can see here, it is there is a null value in the horse dot power. So we need to change this uh, null value. So let uh, so it's just not a number. So. and fill the null values with the mean of cars horsepower so it's done so now let us see it again you can see the value has been changed so now let us uh, try to uh, visualize the uh, you know which uh, feature has highest uh, correlation with uh, the mpg so here we are going to uh, predict this mpg value based on the other features data set so so there are different ones so which has uh, highest correlation with mpg so is that cylinders displacement horsepower weight acceleration modular or origin so basically there are different methods to which you can get it so one of such is uh, you know generating the heat map and uh, lasso regression so i've uh, already given a clear description of lasso regression in the previous videos so you can just go and check that out you know you will be getting a graph where you can find which uh, feature has highest correlation with that uh, mpg so so here uh, i'm going to so when you use the lasso regression you will be finding it so you can just uh, code yourself so let uh, so let's go with acceleration and check from the scatter plot So in the x-axis, uh, I'm taking the mpg and uh, cups in the y acceleration. 
and let us give some color So as you can see, uh, as the acceleration increases, so yep, it's so actually the x is mpg here. But let us just change this. So as you can see, as the MPG, uh, you know, as this uh, MPG increases, the uh, acceleration also increases according to the scatter plot that we found. So, so this is how uh, you know you can uh, you can visualize using the matplotlib. So we'll be talking about more about uh, these graphs in the in the coming videos. Well, now let us apply the linear regression. So that uh, the first thing that we need to take is uh, the feature data set so you need to select some of the features from this so when you use the lasso regression you will find that uh, these three has highest uh, correlation with the uh, mpg Compa uh, and this has negative correlation so so well but in this one i'm other than mpg i'm going to uh, consider all the other uh, features so and we are going to split uh you know split the training and testing data set so first of all now we need to the features so I'm just dropping uh, mpg column so other than mpg so this uh, the cylinders displacement horsepower weight acceleration model year and origin are considered as a features so after that in the y the one we have to predict that is mpg so let's done so now let us uh, split the data set in training and testing data set to give the test size so if I give a point to that would be 20% of the data will be uh, in the testing uh, data set and the rest of 80% will be in the training data set so you can perform accordingly so for example if you have a total 100 data points and in that 20 will be in the testing side and the other 80 data points will be in the training data set so we are going to run the uh, you know you are going to train the data set using the training model and then we are going to find the accuracy and all those things uh, you know in the testing so we uh, so uh, we would be knowing like uh, how well our data set is uh, performing well uh, and let us give a random state So you can give anything so that uh, we should uh, uh, we'll be getting the same uh, result every time that we run. So once it is run, I think it's a, yeah it has been run. So uh, the next one is we need to create a model. 
so in this case I'm creating the linear model so first let us import the linear model linear regression and other thing is we need to find the accuracy rates of this so for that we are going to take a r2 score so let us import that as well so i'm defining a model so in this case we are using linear model and we have to fit the model so this is where uh, the data set is going to learn so we have caught an error so so it's done well uh, now we have to predict the values and this we need to do on the testing data set so it's done so now let us uh, find the accuracy rates and uh, okay before that let us find the real values and predict the values so So this is a real value and uh, that is in the testing set, let us reshape it. And the other one is predict. So which will be in the predict variable that we have defined above. So I think it's good. So as you can see here, uh, we have uh, so the real value. These are the real values, and these are the predicted values. And uh, now let us try to find the accuracy uh, of this training testing model and. Uh, Let's see. So this was trusting. Okay, let us run this first. So the training has uh, eighty one percentage. So the training data set has eighty one percentage. Well, uh, the now let us check the testing one. So you can see uh, the testing has uh, good accuracy, like it's eighty six percent. So it's performing better uh, on the new values. Well, so let us print the overall accuracy. So I think it will be more because uh, the testing has the testing data set has good predictions compared to the training. So let us do that. Yep, you can see the overall accuracy of the model is eighty six percent. So that is not bad so well uh, you can perform your own data set you know you can uh, take uh, some of the uh, some of the features and you can try to find the accuracy so basically this three has highest correlation so you can use this three and find whether you will be getting good accuracy or not and uh, yep, that's it for now hope you guys have understood the concept of linear regression and uh,
if you like the video please click the like button below and if you know subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and uh, please share the video thank you guys